Hey kids, aye aye Captain, <laughs> just kidding, but let's go ahead and start working on some selection tools in Photoshop. You should have this document and we are going to first deal with the statue and I'm going to ask that you do this the way I'm doing it, um, just because I want you to practice some tools. So we are going to use a combination of the tools you've learned so far to select this statue. Let's first deal with the polygon lasso because that's good for straight pieces. I'm going to make sure my lasso is on Add to Selection. That's the second option, and it'll have a plus sign on it whenever I use it. Hold on, let me make sure I got the right one here. Okay, so I'm going to start off by adding um, like one of these little, whatever these things are called. I'm going to call it a hat. I don't know if it's a hat. Anyway, we're going to add one of these in. So we're going to click, click, click. I'm going to draw on a triangle, okay? So we have one, now I'm going to add another one in. Again, it's got plus now because we're on add. Didn't have a plus before because we hadn't started yet. Okay, there we go. This isn't like the world's best because I'm trying to hurry. But you're going to go through basically and get all the spikes or whatever they're called off of this hat. Then you're going to look for other parts that are straight that we might be able to get using this tool. So you're going to kind of look around see other parts that you think you can grab and add them in. I think personally that um, over here where this book is that the book one's going to be. So I'm going to go here on the edges of the book, corner, corner, corner. I probably, and by the way, you can hit backspace if you don't get it right. So that wasn't right. There we go. There. I guess this kind of is pretty straight. So I could go ahead and get a little bit of this down here and then go ahead and grab the rest of the book. So now we've got a partial selection, like some of this stuff is selected, some of it's not. Uh, but now I'm going to switch to another tool, because you can just keep flip-flopping between your selection tools. So I've been good with those. I'm going to now go ahead and switch to the quick selection brush. Remember, this is a brush, also one on plus, and you just brush over, but don't go crazy, like brush a little bit. So I'm going to brush just over the face. All right, see how quickly that jumped out there and caught the edges? So that part's good. Now remember, if this messes up, have that history panel ready to roll, okay, so that you can back up. All right, so I'm going to come up here and get this part. Now it's taking a little bit more there. That part's going to be really hard. We'll probably have to use a regular lasso or a paintbrush in the selected mask. Come down here and get these. Okay, so that jumped down to the whole thing. There's a little part here missing, so I'm just going to give it a click. If you have areas like that that you want to fix, you can. Come down here. Okay, that caught most of that. It's alright if you don't get like all, every single little piece. It's probably still going to look okay. Alright, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now if it goes too far, you can either back up like this, or if it goes too far, you can just switch to the other on the tool. So click, switch to minus sign. You can also hold down the alt key. So see how it's a plus sign right there? If I hold down alt, it switches to minus. So you all know I'm big on keystrokes, so sometimes I just prefer to press the keystroke and make that happen. Now in here we have an area that doesn't belong, so I'm going to hold down Alt to Minus, click in there, hold down Alt to Minus, click in here. It's not perfect, um, so I'm going to come back at this with a plain lasso on Minus to subtract, and then I'm just going to kind of get rid of that little chunk. Oops, I went too far, that little chunk. So I'm going to get rid of the areas that you don't need to be in the selection. And then if you need to add them back, switch it to a plus lasso and just get those little sections in there, like so. Okay, and this probably isn't perfect, but it's not terrible. Okay, so up here, um, probably again, lassos or you could go into quick mask mode. So let me go into quick mask mode, just because I haven't done that yet. We'll click here or press Q. So now as we look at this, we might say, you know what, it is missing a bunch of it, but it actually looks fine. And if it looks fine, then go with it. But if not, you can go in here and add in some more. So I would take my brush and just brush in any extra little pieces that I want from this. Okay. All right. And then once I'm happy, get out of quick mess mode. You got to go back to marching ants. So we should not have any pink happening. All right. So I'm going to press control and zero to get zoomed all the way out so I can see it. And then we're going to go into Select and Mask. You can't do it from the paintbrush. You have to be on a selection tool. So it doesn't matter which one. I'm going to click Select and Mask, and there we're going to go. And that actually looks pretty good. You can't even tell if any of the edges aren't good. 
Um, but you could take the magnifying glass and zoom up if you just wanted to take a better look at it. I'm pressing my space bar and using my hand tool to look around, but this is looking pretty, pretty great. So I have no issues with it. Okay, so again, control zero so I can see the whole screen. And then over here under output settings, I'm going to set this to layer mask. So it puts it on the layer mask. Again, that's under output settings. And again, if you want to, you can, you know, pop this back and look at it to see. But I think it looks good. All right, okay. Bam, statue done. Okay. Then you're just going to continue on, continuing on with all these. This cab, I would probably do this one much like we did the statue. Uh, I would use the polygon for the straight pieces. So polygon lasso. Pay attention to whether you're on plus or minus after you draw the first one. The first one, it doesn't matter what you're on. So, um, you know, get your straight pieces in there. And, you know, they don't have to be perfect. As long as you're in the car, <laughs> as long as you're in the car, it doesn't really matter. And start inside the selection and continue. Then you're fine. All right. So some of those edges are kind of roundy, so I'm just going to leave those alone for now and go ahead and get this set back up. All right. Um, got long pieces down here, so I'll just go ahead and knock this part in here. And we'll just make a rectangle. Remember, we're just building it. Think Legos, you know, if you will, um, as far as trying to get this to all just fit in here. Okay. So my windshield. Again, some of this is getting a little bit round, so I'm not going to go over there too far. And connect back to the beginning. If you can't find your beginning, because that happens sometimes, like you can't find it, you can get, like, close. Like, I know it's over there somewhere. I'm just going to, like, get close to it, but not all the way, and just double-click. And then it, like, fixes it for you. All right, and then you can start using other tools. So I might go to the quick selection on plus, kind of go over here. Uh-oh, it just selected my entire document. That's not good. And here's the reason why. I just did a real noob thing, and that is I wasn't even on the cab layer. So when I clicked out here, it actually thought I was clicking out here where nothing existed. And so it just selected all that stuff. So I'm going to back up in my history one time and click on the right layer because I'm a dumb. And then I can go in here and start doing these. So if you're ever using your selection tool and it's like not having it, it's not selecting right, that generally means you're clicked on the wrong layer. It happens all the time to the best of us. Okay. So I'm going to get these in here as best I can. Obviously not all of it's going to be perfect. That's okay. We'll fix it. We'll touch it up later on. So I've got my quick selection. Again, stuff that's going to have to get out of here. That's fine. We'll deal with it later. You can go into quick mask and do it here if you want. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go into select the mask. So select the mask. Let's look at it. All right. It doesn't look terrible. There are obviously the areas at the bottom that we need to deal with. So I'm going to turn my transparency down so I can see. And then I might take my brush on minus and start getting rid of some of these parts. Again, use your little button to make your brush bigger and smaller. Again, this straight part down here, I'm going to use that um, polygon lasso, which we still have in here. Now, they won't show marching ants, so don't get confused. When you're in select a mask, if you use the lasso to minus, which is what this is, it's not going to put marching ants on it. So just remember you're, you are minusing it. Oops, I went too far, but that's okay. Just remember that you are minusing that off. Okay, so if I'm drawing a big box here, it's subtracting that from the picture, right, so that it's not in there now. Okay, so technically we really need to fix these tires. I'm going to hit here on plus and just kind of fix the tire a little bit and then probably um, that other tire is probably looking pretty bad yeah so there's some stuff here but again I'm not gonna make you watch me be perfect perfect on it but just try to get it as close as you can and then in here you would use a tiny brush to get around these little areas okay all right again when you're done with it and you like it then you're ready to put it out on a layer mask and when you hit okay then now we have our little cab flying high in the air on our layer mask let's go ahead and look at this one this has a solid background so this would be a candidate for the magic wand magic wand is for solid backgrounds like the magic eraser so i'm going to take my wand and click here all right it selected it pretty good but remember I'm actually on the background and not the letters so when I click select mask it disappears so up here in your selected mask under global refinements if it's not open is your invert button that's gonna flip it okay 
Now there's still a little bit in here that doesn't go. For instance, there's that registered trademark symbol. So if we don't want that part in there, let's just go ahead and take that brush and put it on minus and just minus this little guy out of there. I probably should use a bigger brush, but you get the gist of it. All right, now let's go ahead and put that transparency back up to look at it. I'm using my space bar here to look. Yep, looks pretty good. Output to a layer mask, all is well. So there we go. We are good. And then you're just going to continue this process. Again, I'm not going to make you watch me um, other than for those first few. So this one here, Magic Wand, is not going to be a great uh, friend to you because this white runs into this white. So if you try to take your Magic Wand to select your background on this puppy, it's like, that's terrible. Like, look how bad this is. So that's terrible. So you're probably not going to be able to use that tool. Control-D to get rid of your marching ants. You're probably going to have to do a little painting on this one to touch it up or start with the polygon lasso and then move on or whatever tool you want to try to use. So decide your strategy for that one. For the subway sign over here, we just want the sign and you don't have to get all the little lines behind it. We're just going to have this here. So I would certainly be using my polygon lasso on this one because these are all long sides. Just do all of that. Go into select the mask, make sure it's good. Put it out to a layer mask and you're done. And then finally, We've got a building down here. The building has a lot of straight sides. So again, I would polygon lasso most of it and then go in there with a brush just for some of those little tiny parts that are sticking up to make it a little more organic and fix those little pieces. And you can do that in Select a Mask using that little brush. So that just gets you started on this. These first three, hopefully you did with me, and if you just watched the whole thing and haven't done them with me, then back up and do them with me using the tools like I showed you. Then try to see how far you can get. See if you can get the rest of the three done this hour as well.